any guys ever been to Sudan before? No. No? Yes? Okay, well, I will tell you guys about my hometown. The Syrian province is known of its elephant and tight seal. We feel the elephants like our family and some locals with seal or local fabrics like this for a living. And like the uniform that I'm wearing right now is a seal, which is a uniform that the students have to wear every Friday at Syrian Vocational College. And each year in November, Syrian province hosts one of Thailand's most unique festivals, the Syrian province, uh, the Syrian Elephant Roundup or Syrian Province Festival. We celebrate the special history that Thai people have with these amazing animals. And the highlight of this year event was a total of 8,745 people that participated in the activity. And I'm very proud to be one of them who participated in the activity. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So here are the materials that we need. Two pieces of local fabrics. A pair of scissors, double-sided tape, two pieces of plastic eyes, and rubber bands. So first of all, we were making the body of the elephants. So grab the first local fabric. Okay. This is the first local fabric that we're gonna use. And fold it in half like this. And make sure that the edges are fit and let it flat on the table like this. Then fold from the bottom edge going to the center. Or maybe you can use your palm to equally measure the distance, maybe about 15 centimeters. And fold from the top edge going to the center. And fold it for the second time. From the bottom, go to the center. From the top to the center like this. Then start rolling it from the sides to the center. Okay. With the other sides. Okay. So now we have two rolls meeting at the center like this. Then fold it in half. And secure it with a rubber band. Secure it at the center like this. This is really easy, right? And this will be the body and the legs of the elephants. And make sure that the body and the legs can stand on their own. Okay. Not perfect. It's going to be like this. Just place it here while we're making his head. So grab the second fabric. Okay, okay. This is the second fabric. And fold it in half again like this. And always make sure that the edges are fit equally. Then lay it flat on the table and fold it into three equal parts. Okay. Now we have a rectangular shape of the local fabric and make sure that the loose edge is on top. Next, find the center of the top edge and fix your hand there at the center and start rolling it tightly from the side and diagonally like this, okay. Start rolling it, keep rolling. This part will be a little hard, you have to stick your hand around here. Okay, keep rolling. Okay, so now we have two rolls meeting at the, at the center like this. You see, right? Then secure it with a rubber band to keep the rolls tight like this. And this is a carrot. Do you think? Do you think this is a carrot? <laughs> Some of my teachers say this is a pigeon. How does it look like a pigeon? Yeah, it's more like a carrot. <laughs> okay, it's not finished yet. Just next, turn the loose edge upside down like this. Okay, now you can see the head is coming. Can you tell me what's this? <laughs> yeah, the truck. And here's the ears of the elephant. Oh, next, put a double-sided tape underneath of the head. Like this. Just, just choose the high-quality double-sided tape. Just make sure that. 
it's not gonna fall off if you shoot it high quality. And place it on top of the body. Raise it. Okay. Here we go. As I said, choose a high quality one. Now place it on top of the body like this and fix it just a little bit. Okay. And finally, don't forget to give him his eye for he can see a beautiful world. Beautiful world. <laughs> okay, now we have a cute little elephant that made from local fabrics of serene. Do you think this is cute? Yeah. Yeah, this is cute, right? Okay, just place it right here. And in addition to local fabrics, serene people like to bring seal or local fabrics just to give to each other in very occasion, but would it look too ordinary if you handed it to someone just normally, right? Or maybe you can fold it into a elephant dolls and put it in a beautiful box like this. Or maybe you can use, you can make it from any fabric that you have. Maybe towel, cute fabric, or your local fabrics. That would be really cool. And pull a cute bow on top of the box and give it to your special someone. And the Valentine's Day is coming. If you have cute fabric, just fold it into an elephant doll and give it to your lover. And I believe that this would be really cute present for a Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. Thanks for